Hello and welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. In this case, we're going to talk about how can we use weight conditions in workflows to help us be more effective at selling or providing customer service or whatever it is that you're doing. Again, uh, for this example, I'm going to be using the lead entity and I realize that not every implementation will use this entity. But again, the steps that we're going to go through in this particular tip are applicable to any kind of condition or implementation or I guess objective that you're trying to um, to achieve. In this case, we're going to navigate to leads, as I mentioned. So if you notice, I have two leads right here that are assigned to me that were created in January of 2017. So that's like a year and a half uh, away. And yeah, I don't think we can qualify these leads anymore. Don't you hate when that happens? Now, of course, this is just sample data that I'm uh, looking at right here. But in a real environment, you know, sometimes when you enter leads into the system, you want your salespeople to reach out to them and try to qualify them as quick as possible. As you know, leads are potential, you know, op opportunities for us to sell them services. And maybe we don't know exactly if they're looking for something that we sell, but, you know, reaching out to them is imperative before they try to go and find someone else, one of our competitors, perhaps. So again, I'm going to use wait conditions to follow up with users and make sure they qualify these leads or at least reach out to them to try to qualify them in a, in a timely manner. So for this example, I'm going to use uh, three days. Let's just use three days as a baseline in which once a lead is entered in the system, you know, we're going to wait three days and check back to see if the user has, you know, reach out to this uh, to this particular lead. Now, there are a couple of ways to do this. Um, number one is, you know, as a best practice, whenever I create, uh, when I do implementations of Dynamics, I always want to create workflows that inform a new owner of a new, you know, assignment. So whether it is a lead, for example, in the system, if somebody creates a lead, you know, uh, I want to send an email out to let them know. And also if a lead or a contact or an opportunity or whatever it is gets reassigned from one salesperson to another, I want to send an email to the new owner, letting them know that, hey, look, there's a new record that has been assigned to you. Now, when it comes to reminders, right, the, the timing on qualifying a lead is, it, it, you know, it, it needs to be regardless of the owner. So I want to keep those two workflows separate, the notification workflow and the workflow that waits for three days to see if we have reached out to this lead are completely separate. And the reason for this is maybe a lead is created and assigned, let's say, to the inside sales team. And within 12 hours or 24 hours, the manager of the inside sales team comes and assigns a lead to a brand new owner, right? In this case, an actual name inside sales rep. Now, yeah, the inside sales rep should get a new email notifying them that there's a lead that has been assigned to them, but the timing of the three days should not be interrupted by the fact that the lead has been reassigned to someone else. So we want to keep those two separate, um, you know, sort of workflows, those two separate workflows uh, independent from each other. Okay, so let's use once again the three days as a benchmark. Now, there's a couple of ways to determine even if someone reach out to the lead. Uh, in, in some cases, we can keep it simple. We can say, okay, look, when leads are created in the system, they have a status just like every other record in Dynamics, uh, and they also have a status reason, right? By default, every time you create a lead, the status reason is new. As you can see, but there's another status reason for contact. And now the status of this lead is open. You can see it on the bottom left right here. It says open. But uh, the status reason or the reason why it's open is because it's a brand new lead or because we contacted them, but we haven't been able to get them to uh, be approved or, you know, um, I guess disqualified. So qualified or disqualified at that point. So maybe we train our users to let them know that, hey, look, when you reach out to a, to a lead, whether it's via email or phone or whatever, you need to come back and change this to contact it. You can do that. Uh, the other ways that we can do this is by using, for example, roll-up fields and counting how many activities we have against this particular lead. Maybe you can say something that if the number of activities connected to this lead is larger than one, let's say, then that means we're reaching out to them. So even if the users forgot to change this to contacted, your workflow wouldn't fire, you know, sending a reminder out to somebody, letting them know that they should be reaching out to a lead. So there are a couple of ways to do it. In this case, we're just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna say, if the status is not contacted, 
you know, we need to send a reminder out three days later. So let's go and create our workflow. I already started creating the workflow little by little, by the way, I added a couple of conditions in here, but just to tell you what I've done so far, um, I created a new process. And again, I always use the name of the entity. So in this case it's lead and I said reminder to contact. So again, I'm assuming there's another workflow out there letting people know when a lead is assigned to them. So I don't need to run this workflow other than when the record is created. I don't need to, you know, run it when it's assigned or anything like that. So the first condition I'm going to run is to check whether the lead is still open or not. If I run the the workflow, which in this case, it's very, very unlikely that the lead will not be open because this workflow is going to run right after the lead is created. Now, again, if you have a process where the leads are entered, like as soon as you know, uh, uh, they're enter even if they're qualified. So somebody enters them and clicks qualify. There is a chance that the workflow will run and the lead will already be qualified or disqualified, which is cool. And that way the workflow won't run. But in most cases, this workflow is going to run. So it's going to pass the first uh, check, right? Which is if the lead status equals open, then it's going to go into our second level, uh, into our nested condition here that says if the lead status reason, which is within open, if the status reason equals new, that means it's a brand new lead we haven't contacted, then we're going to wait, right? Because again, if somebody created a lead and they already set the status reason as contacted, right? Then that means they're already talking to them. So there's no point in reminding them, right? Now you might say, well, I still want to remind them if nothing happens in three days. And that might be a topic for another two minute Tuesday. But today we're talking about leads that are entered and no one has reached out to them yet. So we have uh, the lead status equals new. Then what are we going to do here is we're going to wait. So I need to add a wait condition, which is pretty straightforward. So if you select this step and click add a step, you just click on wait condition and this line will be added. So that's where I am at this point. So I'm going to click on add the condition. And here we're going to be adding our condition. So adding a timeout value is pretty simple. So number, number one, on the first drop down menu, you're going to select the process, which is the last option, right? Process. And that will give you an option on the second operator to select a timeout. So you can say, I want to, you know, timeout this process for three days. So now you just say pretty straightforward. I want the timeout to be equals to you press three in here for three days, or if you want to do it in 12 hours or a month, whatever it is, you pick the right numbers here. And then you click on the before and click on duration. So now you can see that our timeout will last three days, right? So three days from the moment this step happens. So again, a lead is created, check whether it's open, check whether the uh, status reasons equals new, I'm going to wait three days. But what do you do then? Well, that's when our tip starts. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So once we wait three days, we need to check a condition again, right? We need to check a condition again because we don't want to send a reminder if someone is already talking to this particular lead. So here's where I'm going to add whether the lead status reason does not equal or equals, sorry, open or new rather. So if the reason is still new, then that means they, no one has contacted them, right? Based on the training that we've done. Now notice there's a bunch of other status reasons that apply to other statuses. For example, if we disqualify a lead, we can say cancel, or we can say that we're no longer interested. Uh, they can, we can also say we couldn't contact them, right? Um, and the status reasons for, uh, the open, uh, status is, is contacted or new. Um, only qualified, it has one status reasons, which is qualified. Now, obviously all these status reasons are customizable. You can add more to this list, but for now, we're just going to check to see if the lead is still new. If so, we're going to send an email out so we can add a step here, send an email, and we're going to send the email obviously to the current owner. So we're going to click on property right here. We're going to pick from, we're just going to say from the owner to the owner. Right. And then again, you can add your own encouraging words in here and say, Hey, all in all caps, why haven't you contacted this lead? We need to reach out. Right. So the idea is you're going to be sending it to the, to the current owner at that point in time. Right. So let me show you how this works uh, in real time. So I'm just going to add 
hey as the subject and hey as the email in here just so you can see it just so we can meet the minimum requirements that I'm going to activate. Now, obviously, this workflow sh should be a little bit longer. Maybe you want to wait four more days and at that point, check to see if the lead is still new. And if it's new, you send an email to the owner's manager. I mean, you can escalate from here. You can add more. Uh, you can get more complicated, I guess, uh, if you go. But we're going to keep it simple in this case. And as you can see on the lead, the status equals new, right? But, you know, we're executing this workflow when we create a brand new lead. So let's go ahead and enter a new lead in here. All right. So for the topic, say interested in CRM. For the name, we're going to add John Doe. Okay, so again, just minimum requirements in here and click on save. Now, again, if there's a workflow behind the scenes notifying, in this case, it will be me that there's a new lead, I would get an email, right? I don't have that workflow in place, but for sure, we have the other workflow, which will wait for three days. So let's go ahead and check that out. So we have background processes here and Within a few seconds, you notice that now it says lead reminder to contact and it's waiting for resources. What is that? Let's open it up. And as you can see, it is sitting on my timeout for three days. Then at that point, I'm going to check if the lead status reasons equals new. And then if if so, we're going to send the email out to remind people to contact them. Obviously, I can add other default reasons in here in which I can stop the workflow and not do anything. I can get, again, just beautify, if you will, this workflow. But as of now, all we're trying to do is to remind people a couple of days later, if they haven't reached out to Elite, they should do so because it's important for the organization and for us to be able to be first and beat our competition. So I hope you enjoyed today's tip. We'll see you next week.